Yo, what's up? The man of the hour. Bro. Bro. What's good, Toji? What's good, Toji? Freaking. I had made a video on her song. And over, literally overnight, it fucking popped off. 247 views in the last 60 minutes. I haven't even streamed yet, bro. And I haven't even streamed yet, bro. Bro, it's it's crazy. <clears throat> I went to sleep. This video had like about like like 40 views. It's at 490 right now. And then like <clears throat> and then like I wake up and like people are just like going off, bro, on each other, bro, in the comments. Let's go through these comments. It just needs to stand in front of a mirror and the Democratic Party and do a realistic compare and contrast. The Dems are the undeniable champions of dividing people up. For the Dems, we are not Americans. They assign us to us to desperate interest groups and tell those separate groups they have nothing in common and need to be suspicious of the other rogan is an elitist please prove me wrong oh good man sorry yes my bad about that uh just letting you know someone wanted to follow your socials from your youtube profile i wanted to check you out after seeing the crazy arguments of your yo that's what i'm talking bro that's exactly what i was just talking about it's at 560 now and then like people are just like bro it just doesn't make any sense like how can you defend someone that is like not even on the left like he, he's like not he's just not he's just not like you can show, like, you can literally show somebody clear proof that freaking someone is a, a white supremacist, and then they're like, nah. <laughs> like, what the, bro, I just don't understand it. I just don't understand it. People are just, like, delusional, bro. But yeah, that's why, I, like, I really like watching Hassan freaking and, like, uh, Sean the Black, Gremlo, Mike from PA, like, they like expose people like that and then for for the shit that they do like for real for real i just i just checked your comments yeah you got you got a bunch of jelly bro <laughs> jelly roll oh freaking yeah you know what video i'll talk about uh destiny platforming uh white supremacist yeah bro yeah i found your channel from a noah samson recommendation Yo, I love watching Noah Stanson. I, w I recently watched his video, um, the, the, the Palestinian, um, the letters. I forgot what it, the, the title was called, but like the letters, like that, this shit like is sad as fuck. I had posted like, uh, his like, like, and like a little bit of his ending message on that video on, uh, Instagram on like my story. Thanks for the sub. <laughs> But, yo, thank you for the sub. I appreciate that, bro. I'm waiting for die video essay. Yo, I was, I was, I just had, like, okay, so, like, Yoshoki, um, freaking, I'm not a political commentator. Freaking, before I used to game a lot, freaking, I used to game a lot, freaking, I make music, freaking, but, like, after this election, I just felt like, damn, I'm not doing enough, bro. So, like, I started making these videos, and then I had just bought, I had just, uh, I don't read, I don't really read like that. So, like, so, like, I had bought, I had bought some books. It's gonna be Glaze channel. Good luck, gang. Thank you. Glaze gang. Glaze gang. <laughs> Shit, I'd rather be freaking doing this than fucking platforming white supremacists and shit. <laughs>
Like the fuck? <laughs> I ban him, but we need the <laughs> the type of guy to go out of his way to comment on some of those street to hate. Right? I don't know about all that, cause freaking it ain't misinformation, bro. It is not. Now nah, the great algo led me here. It's definitely better than Twitch, to be honest. Way better. I've been streaming on uh, Twitch for for almost four years well not really this year i was working on my youtube stuff this year but uh welcome in man subscribe which is useless unless you have a platform elsewhere i work in video games market marketing that's what's up i agree republicans thrive on dividing people and now democrats are fucking doing it for for them dividing people um exactly democrats are famous for blaming the wrong people and then then <laughs> wonder why they are not on our side but i think we pushed rogan into being an, an elitist when the left started giving him hate and then he gets a hundred a hundred mil to say right wing shit on spotify i'm not proving you wrong your takes are correct just correct all right everyone in america wake hates woke logic free nonsense unless you get rid of that bullshit no one will vote for you i don't even know what that means <laughs> that freaking hurt my brain for a second everyone in america hates woke logic free nonsense i don't really know what he's saying like like trying to say woke logic free you're just shadow boxing <laughs> you should pick up uh Undoc undocumented it's a great book on immigration and how it relates to the class system in america let me see then then Kamala harris run on increasing the federal min minimum wage to 15. i don't think she pushed that enough she i think she kept on pushing like like the the stuff that like uh, like a lot of people meme about her like <laughs> her being middle class and fighting for the middle class and, and, and freaking giving money to small businesses. She definitely did, bro. She did. She mentioned it. Like what? That's what I was saying. <laughs> that's what I was saying. <laughs> that's exactly what I said. <laughs> Call it a Trump. Suck, but she's way better than that orange motherfucker. <laughs> What's up, genius? <laughs> like, I feel like they were pushing, pushing too much, too much to the right. Like saying, like, like we need a border wall. Literally, like saying the same stuff as Trump. Like when she like ran with Biden on like progressive policies. Like we're gonna have like the strongest lethal fucking military like bro what are you doing she forgot what party she was on <laughs> <laughs> bro that shit was crazy the border was a big deal like she was running on like <clears throat> like so far right that like i mean um like being a, like a, a moderate and and an centrist like when people like wanted the real thing like if you're gonna say say this Trump stuff, might as well have Trump when when um the election was happening. Democrats need to run on things that actually matter to their base, like a living wage, and continue to increase the living wage every time there is inflation. If they if they don't push things like this forward, they won't win or progress. Donald Trump's son-in-law said that Gaza would be night be a nice waterfront property that's insane really that's insane increasing minimum wage aside which she didn't really run on that's what i mean exactly she didn't really run on that that much like like it's like like um it's like y'all said uh earlier freaking if she said it she said it like once no what i'm saying is is her messaging she, she didn't um uh, she didn't push that forward enough you know what i'm saying what she was saying like more was freaking like border shit like i don't understand freaking why like she she would like like 
like to the middle like i don't understand why would you do that if you ran on progressive policies like what you said freaking increasing like biden was saying freaking increasing minimum wage more like like that's what i mean for trans trans support i will support the law <laughs> the law <laughs> it's crazy i'm gonna talk a good game but that's the the folks funding palestine's misery and trump's too busy golfing to care. <laughs> How the fuck is increasing minimum wage giving people money to new families and and first time homebuyers not core reasons? Oh, because those are capitalist solutions. I think I think I think it's way better to to increase the minimum wage every year. Like like I'm in I'm in Colorado, freaking our, our Colorado, in Colorado, the minimum wage goes up every year, not by a lot, I don't think it goes up enough, but it goes up every year, right now we're on, well, um, Denver sp specifically, freaking the minimum wage goes up every, well, the state goes up uh, uh, every year too, I'm from New York though, I'm from the Bronx in New York, and then I moved out here. It is freaking cold out here. It snowed freaking for like three days, bro. I swear, bro, bro, it snowed for three fucking days. Nick should be banned. Why shouldn't his song be? Wait, what? Wait, what? And Nick should be banned, but why shouldn't his song be banned for this? For his Jimmy hateful rhetoric as well. Position is completely incoherent. Wait, what? Why do you think Hassan should be banned? What did he say freaking that should get him banned? Why would anybody talk shit about Hassan? That's what I'm trying to say. I, Hassan is goaded. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. See, see freaking genius know her shit, bro. <laughs> she know her shit, bro. He He's here to finish the fight like Master Chief. Nobody cared, though. Nah, she did, she did not really run on that, though not true at at all it's about messaging exactly it is it's about messaging everyone everyone was behind bernie on it right exactly the core issues aren't affor affording a home is corporate ownership zoning laws right right being able to to build more than like a single family home being able to uh make apartments more affordable housing she was kicking the the can down the, the road. <laughs> she ran to the center and it cost her exactly. If Trump actually wanted to fix minimum wage, he could push for a federal increase that adjusts with inflation. Exactly. That's what I was trying to say. Colorado has that. Colorado has that. Fucking, fucking. It's not as much. I think it should be more. Cause like the minimum wage was seventeen twenty nine in January, January first, twenty twenty three, and then the the minimum wage was eighteen twenty nine, January first, twenty twenty four, and then next year the the minimum wage is going to be eighteen eighty one for for January first, twenty twenty five. So like that is that is progressive. That's like it's not as much as I would like. I would like it to be like more. The first time, well, 2023 to 2024, it went up a dollar. And then now it, it went under a dollar, which is not good. <laughs> I think it should be like progressing like like more and more to be able to combat inflation. It mean real real Rises over time instead of workers falling behind while costs climb. Exactly. Exactly. Same with the border. The issue isn't migrants. It's imperialism. The the slow path to citizenship, etc. And that's the main problem with her entire campaign. Static had it right. Capitalism solutions. Right, right, right. When you run to the center, you normalize right-wing sentiment, exactly. The center is also right-wing, exactly. 
So you make Trump look like he's just dealing with the the problems better than you. Like and then and then to continue what you're saying, freaking how do you make how do you make fucking Trump look better than you? That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. And she had all the hype. That's crazy, bro. Bro. How do you go from like losing, I mean winning to the the fucking election when you first got nominated from like such a big ass margin to like losing in this way, bro? That bro, she lost so hard that I became a political commentator, bro. What the bro, that is crazy. That is bro. Bro, I bro, if she would have won. I wouldn't have done any of this shit. <laughs> bro, that is crazy. <laughs> what the, bro? I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind, bro. <laughs> bro. I would have just continued listening to, to freaking Denim's, Hassan, freaking everybody else, and like, what about my day? Streaming freaking gaming had them in one ear, freaking streaming in my other ear, like bro, bro, too many bags were fumbled here, bro. <laughs> Yo, what the, bro, that is crazy. Exactly, problem isn't immigration, immigrants is imperialism in a broken system that makes citizenship nearly impossible. Come with this campaign just offers capitalists list band-aids not real solutions right what you need to do is change to fr framing right the damn pr program crew are great for that aesthetically they are a little too commie for most norm normies though instead of blaming immigrants we need to address the root causes Ending imperialist wars, exactly. Providing pathways to citizenship and raise, raising wages. Fucking, we, we spend so much money overseas. And like the, I remember seeing a, a fucking, fucking, I think Hassan showed like a, a fucking uh, a, a graph on, on military spending. And like, it's like, this is crazy to me. That's crazy. Real solution involved fair trade fair labor and a system that doesn't rely on exploiting people for cheap work exactly also high key 15 and hours ass exactly <laughs> that's a fact that's a fact <laughs> believe bro freaking i still can't believe like states like texas is still seven seven dollars and fifty an hour I still can't even believe freaking I was in the high school when they when they just put in a, a minimum wage. That is crazy, bro. My first job was $7.50 an hour. <laughs> Yo, that is crazy. See, this is the one this is the community I'm trying I'm trying to grow. <laughs> That's a fact. I was hyped for a second. I, I was fucking with with the, the brat memes. I fucked with the walls and then they just 180 during the DNC. My heart sank. Yeah, bro. Freaking, I was watching uh, Hassan when he was doing the DNC, the DNC coverage. If military is the, the, the biggest fucking biggest concern, then like you really just don't care about the, the people that, that like are in your country. That's crazy to me. Welcome to America, baby. Right. <laughs> I'm in Texas right now. I make ten dollars an hour. I'm excluding the Palestinian speaker was so disgusting. Right. All right. We gotta fight terrorism, brother. Bro, freaking. If Trump can win a second term, bro, it like you gotta fight the good fight. You gotta start fighting the good fight. <laughs> Cause like that is crazy to me. Oh, uh, it's 55 comments now? Like, what? Hold on. Where is it? Bro, the amount of hate Hassan gets is insane to me. I could put out a Gremlo 
video, three likes, no dislikes. I put out a fucking Hassan video, seven likes, 13 dislikes, bro. Like, bro, that's insane to me. The amount of hate he gets freaking for like literally just saying stuff that, that like should be common sense is like crazy. The platforming of terrorists stuff is so stupid. Oh, freaking, you mean uh, when he had that, did that interview? Like, the dude is a fucking kid. <laughs> bro, like, that's it, bro. People are, what, like, people are insane, bro. <clears throat> oh, this, uh, static, this is what you were talking about earlier. That's crazy. They, they think debating a Nazi loser is, is, is good content. There's no space for the that in progressive movements. You spit on Nazis and move on. <laughs> He's also brown, so Thanks that for the doesn't help. <laughs> right, Alexander. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Nick Fuentes is the Uzon hero behind the heavy Zoomer support for Trump. Platforming a kid who has experienced nothing in his life but genocide and his suffering. Exactly. I should have added that. I only watch Fox through her song. I can't do it alone. That's yo, that's me. That's I never turn that shit on, bro. I dead do think that like the rest of the world looks at America and be like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I think I, I I feel like freaking I, I feel like people only look at us because like, I feel like people only look at us because we, we look so stupid out here, bro. It's crazy. It's so crazy. We are a joke. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy. Hold on. Let me, let me fix this. How can you, how, like, my whole thing, bro, like, literally my whole thing like has always like like after after like watching hassan hassan has a un unique take on it but like i think i think freaking w w after i like i, I like got real radicalized and freaking like started watching hassan and stuff like that my take has been and always has have been the walls take why do you care like why like like what like bro why are you so obsessed with trans people it doesn't make any sense to me it doesn't like why why do you care <laughs> like 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 let if they as long as they ain't hurting nobody why do you fucking care they minding their own business why are you in their business? <laughs> hey, bro, it's crazy. It's really wedge issues, like, it, bro. It, it it extends to like, like women's bodies. Also, like, like why do you care? Like, it, like I've heard takes on why they care because freaking Nick Fuentes fucking on that to control people's bodies and shit. No one cared 10 years ago that the transports thing was a talking point manufactured by the, the Heritage Foundation about transports uh, specifically. And also that's just like how, how brain, brain, uh, brainwashing works. Cause fucking like nobody cared. And then now like all of a sudden like people care, like I feel like, yeah, like, the, like, the rich fucking always, like, if, if the Democrats are winning, they always try and put, like, a, a talking point out there, a talking point out there for, like, for, like, the right wing to, like, gravitate towards, or, like, people in general to divide, divide the left against, like, it's crazy. One of Hassan's best takes in, in this was, I will never forgive the right for making me learn about high school sports. 
Like no one cares. Right. <laughs> right. Freaking that is a good a good take. Like why do we have to? We we worried about the sports more than 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 freaking how, like I don't bro, this country is so broken. How are we worried more about the the high school sports than the freaking guns? Freaking that freaking they want to arm teachers with guns now. That is crazy, bro. If that's if if if, if that's more important than arming teachers, bro. Trying to arm teach, bro. That is crazy, bro. Bro, it just makes no sense, bro. He got some bars for him. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Yeah. Where is it? Destiny fans are so, like, so delusional, bro. He said, where do I get the notion? He said, where do I get the notion that fucking Destiny platformed a Nazi and fucking he literally said it. Like, <laughs> where is it? I'm going to just send him where he says it at. Oh, there it is. Yeah, here. Oh, I was on the right point. No, and Gwentz's treatment of me is so bad. I don't understand. Mr. Um, Boner. That's something he'll have to learn and grow. Not to sound like a, not to be too self-aggrandizing, but like, Fuentes should be worshipping me. Because I am literally the, I was the only lifeline that he had to like, Why is the Nazi brutes, like, to be? Exactly. Conversations. Exactly. Like, a huge potential opportunity to him. And he just, so bad faith in the way that he treats me. It's unbelievable. I don't know why the fuck you would do that. Like, he should have been so conciliatory towards me. And I'm not looking for that. I'm not asking anybody to bitch or anything. But for him to be, like, relentlessly bad faith against me all the time, I'm like, bro, who the fuck are you? Like, I can put you on a stream in front of 14,000 people. Exactly. Like, I'm telling, I'm giving your phone number to, like, Adam22 so you can Bang. go to show. Like, bro, you, like, I'm going to just... Like, he be, like, relentless. Like, he, he... Right after picking Tim Walls as her VP, Kamala had explicitly vowed to end the ongoing... Gaza genocide by saying that she would withhold all arms and funding supplies and diplomatic cover if it had if it did not stop and then also unveiled an economic package of free college Medicare for all and a 15 or higher minimum wage she would <laughs> have easily won the election exactly like when she when she was nominated she did basically all of this got tim walls fucking as the vp fucking said that she was gonna whip a hold arms fucking the 15 down moment wage prop and and that's probably why the the other dude that came in here said that that fucking she said that but freaking she she ain't never say that after that she ain't say that much say that after that so much that i forgot <laughs> i don't even bro i said i was like did she even say that bro like <laughs> did she say that though like, <laughs> this is a solid take Bro, did she say that? <laughs> Yo. That's just, that's just a fact. As all of this would have energized the dem base and also whole very well amongst among independents and even some Republicans. Also, um, I'm sorry if I read slow. Um, one, I haven't been read, really reading that much in a like, like a, a while. And two, freaking, for the most part, I've always been like kind of a s slow reader. Um, but hopefully, the more I read, they'll pick up. It said she ran on being the the new version of Liz and Dick Cheney, vowing to endlessly continue the ongoing mass killing and rape of Palestinians and regurgitating genocide. 
Suicidal Atrocity Propaganda Hoaxes Constantly Saying Iran Is the greatest threat To the US And must Be destroyed Bro Her Her right heel Turn bro Was Crazy <clears throat> Was crazy bro Having Mark Cuban, her, having Mark Cuban as her main economic guru, vowing to deregulate and cut taxes and be good to Wall Street, and saying actually the genocide Joe economy is wonderful and great, and if you disagree, you're too stupid to be able to prop properly read charts for Ezra Klein Matthew I don't know how to say that sorry I don't want to mess it up uh, Will Bensil and David Shore she ran a campaign by and for neocon liberal neoliberals David Frum, Jeffrey Goldberg, and ate shit for it. She was humiliated so badly by candidate Trump, who said the, the most insane, deranged shit constantly about Haitians eating dogs and cats. True. Wow about how, how she's not really black, not having a plan for doing anything at all. And you know why she and Democrat leadership, Democratic leadership did that because they didn't care if they lost. Losing is nothing to them. They keep their, their donor money, the them political PR strategists media class keeps its jobs in fact they even get money even more money because they'll switch to being epic based resistance heroes again and fleet please their base of even more cash for even more cash Kamala Harris and Democratic leadership intentionally through the the election instead of actually running a campaign that could win because Israel is uber ills for them. Zionism. Secretary as are there other corporate overlords. That's what happened in the. 2024 election I butchered so many words in this in this not even gonna lie not even gonna lie I gotta get better at reading um but yeah this is this is definitely correct freaking I definitely like the the uh, Kamala Harris Kamala Harris and Democratic leadership intentionally threw the the election for real they dead did they did that so hard, bro. Freaking like, I I I'm, I was making basketball comparisons in my head. Freaking being up <laughs> three one, not even three one three zero. Freaking the championship, bro. Finals, bro. Up three one. I mean three zero, and freaking they come back to still win. That's crazy. That is crazy. Stop platforming people that are not Stop platforming people that are not supporting your candidates You are private political parties You're supposed to be self-interested, okay? The whole reason you have superdelegates and shit Is to protect your elections, right? Stop inviting people to your events that hate your candidates Don't do that, stop doing that It's retarded Stop highlighting these people, stop platforming these people Stop spotlighting these people Let them go to the uh, S the is it SDA, the Socialist Democratic Party of America? Let them go do events with those people. Jesus.
Why, why would you cuck out so hard at these losers? Hassan shouldn't be anywhere near the DNC. Um, Brianna, uh, Joy Gray, I don't know if she gets invited to shit, nobody. Well, the reason why Hassan was even invited to the DNC was because fucking, fucking when, when Kamala Harris basically did, started doing this fucking quote. He start like, once, once Kamala Harris got Tim Walls, fucking, fucking said she, she was gonna fucking stop the, the genocide in Gaza. Fucking the fifteen dollar minimum wage. That's when like Hassan was like, all right, freaking, freaking. She got. We should, we should like support, support Kamala Harris, which was why he was basically invited because he's a big streamer and then basically supported Kamala Harris. And then freaking, she did what she did at the the fucking DNC. And then fucking, that's why like the song freaking didn't support her anymore maybe actually i'll give him uh, he's, he's a little over the wall for me maybe he could come back though um the um yeah anybody related to the i don't know where sam cedar was actually sam cedar is so poisoned by the people around him that uh no even he shouldn't be anywhere yeah none of these people should be anywhere near because if you're if you're the democratic party you gotta you have to support the people that are supporting you okay <laughs> um like Right, right. How, like, exactly. How is, how is fucking, fucking Destiny seen as progressive, bro? It's crazy. You have to support the people that support you. Exactly. Exactly. If you don't support the people that, that support you, freaking the same thing is going to happen. Like the election that just happened. Like freaking, bro. You're going to have people that's not going to turn up, up for you. Like, like I didn't vote freaking I'm not I'm not I didn't feel comfortable voting for Kamala Harris because freaking she was I don't I think she was going to continue being like like Biden and if I'm a, if I'm gonna be honest freaking when Hassan and in like this is my 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 like personal like uh uh thing freaking when Hassan Gremlo and a lot of freaking uh, 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 freaking political commentators on the left were, were hyping up uh, Kamala Harris. I, I, I'm not even gonna lie, I was still doomer pill. I was like, hey, she ain't gonna do all that. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, I was like, she ain't gonna do all of that. <laughs> I, I like, I gotta see it to believe it, kind of person. Like, like I, I gotta see it, bro. I gotta see it. <laughs> I gotta feel it. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> I was, I was very like, uh, uh, not so um, open about it, but like, I was like, I don't, I don't see it. I didn't see it. But then, like, after a while, I, I did like come around and like, I was like, all right, freaking, what she be about? <laughs> If, if freaking because like i was already thinking if if she got the power to end the genocide she should end the genocide like come on <laughs> lamau pre-watch <laughs> bro i'm not even gonna lie i'm not even gonna lie but like i, I started like we're like right when i started getting behind Kyle, kamala harris she did the stuff that she did at the dnc i was like nah <laughs> i like i knew it <laughs> i freaking I, I, like i was so mad freaking i was like i was like i started to like you bro i started to like you like bro. <laughs> i started to like you that's crazy <laughs> that's exactly how i felt because like I, I like when i say i listen to hassan a lot and like like very progressive people a lot i listen to them a lot i'm like all right let me like all right, I, I'm I'm falling in line. I'm falling in line. I, I'm listening. I'm listening. Kamala Harris freaking is her. <laughs> and then fucking fucking she did that shit. I was like, I know it deep down. I know it. <laughs> she does. America can end it. It with one phone call exactly being right but uh too early I left this entire existence 
But uh, I, you know what it is? I think those st the statistic. I mean, static, savage. I think like, I think even like as like a, a, a progressive person, you want to have hope that like, you want to have hope that like, like somebody's gonna do some actual change. You know what I'm saying? If she was for Medicare for all. I would have supported her despite everything else. She couldn't even do that. Right, right. Like, I actually wanted to, uh, uh, before I started doing, whoa, I haven't been doing this for too long in terms of like political commentating or like freaking, freaking talking about politics and stuff like that. But like, I truly like before like the election I like I was like if I blow up from streaming I'm leaving this country cuz all the bullshit that keeps going on bro like like all literally all the states she lost bro it's like insane bro it's like how does ev like how does so many other countries have universal health care besides us I was like I'm going to Canada bro Canadians can come down here. We could go up there. <laughs> Bro, they can come down here. Be hogs. I'm going up there. I'm going up there. Look now, it's just capitalism. I should I should make a, a, a fucking a meme video of, of Tim Pool saying freaking capitalism is the enemy of this nation. <laughs> <laughs> is the enemy of this nation <laughs> yo capitalism is the enemy <laughs> yo. they gotta ex exploit our health care too <laughs> yo too fucking funny you guys, I hate fuck, I hate being a cock, I hate being a cuckoo, cuck, cuck, But I, I have to remind you guys of this, okay? I have to remind you guys, you have to understand this, okay? Because you take me, you take me for granted, all right? You take, you take my psychological tenacity for granted. It is incredibly difficult to be out there on your own, okay? With no major backing, no major political communities, nobody else in the end. That is an incredibly difficult thing to do. So if you're the Democratic Party and you're backing people, that hate your candidates and you're not providing any support to people that support your candidates what the what the f give these people support it doesn't have to be me although it should be <laughs> I like, I like that ending <laughs> it should be me <laughs> yeah. what the f give these people support it doesn't have to be me it doesn't have to be me, but it could be me. <laughs> what the bro? Yeah, I was there. It is. It was crazy. He hating from outside the club. <laughs> he hating from outside the club, yo. Your analogy is hitting. Now you go. <laughs> Yo, I'm not even gonna lie. That shit is hitting. <laughs> he and his community have been obsessed with him, which is crazy. It's 1000% jealousy. Bro, he's so obsessed, bro. It is. When Hassan when her song starts streaming, I'm uh I'ma put on his stuff while I while I start editing this video that I was supposed to make for today. Um my video that um like this stream when I end it, uh tomorrow I'll edit this video and then I'll probably try and edit another Hassan video. If he if he got the smoke today. If he got the smoke today. Freaking I, I I like making videos off of the smoke. <laughs> I need the smoke. I need you to yell at me while this country is bullshit. <laughs> I need the smoke. That's why I like these commentators, bro. 
It's too much money here. I mean, nobody should be hitting lotto for 36 million and we got people starving in the streets. That is not idealistic. That's just real. That is just stupid. There's no way Michael Jackson should have, or whoever Jackson, should have a million thousand, drupal billion dollars and then there's people starving. There's no way. There's no way. I got a future in mind. I won't spend a dime. I feel like I won't see it in time. I'm slow in the ground. So after all the progress I made, I'm not getting paid. My fucking flight is delayed. I'm falling behind. I'm stuck in the ponds. The vines is gripping me up. Be happy for what? When my life is running them up. I keep falling down. My grave is calling me now. I've been abusing my health. Well, who gives a fuck? Life has no mercy, it's always playing dirty I've been bearing all my burdens, but they never seem to go away Drink for better tomorrow, serving my purpose Even though I know all my sorrows are gonna be the fucking same Stuck in the loose and never change, stay in your lane No dog in the fight, it's getting hard for me to bear It's hard to fall asleep at night, stuck in the mirrors Life doesn't have any truth, just theirs, life isn't fair It's unfair. Life is unfair. Life is unfair. Don't you think if you don't get, uh, I guess you're trying to say rising star, are we going to overthrow the streamer awards? Yeah, we're going to storm the streamer awards. If we don't get it. All right, January 6th, it's happening. What? She's, it's, she's the only by. one. I mean, what?